visitor's clubhouse, which naturally are off limits to us on a game day. But uh, the Tigers are going to show up here probably about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But you need to stay there while the rest of us come down here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, some celebrity sometimes, or just a member of the, of the community throughout the ceremonial first day. And uh, that person uh, usually doesn't know how to do that, uh, and they are often very scared about that, so they stay, they keep them on ice in a room down there called the Green Room. And they used to come out and ask uh, the people working Oh, you ran so fast. Man. Well done, thank you. All right. So that's from the distance from the pitcher's mound to the home plate. the logo of the mirror. Chris Larson, New York Yankees. 
Uh, in baseball lore, people think that might be the best single team ever to play. Uh, I've been told by more than one person that if you go to Cincinnati or you go to St. Louis and you visit those ballparks, the only possible team on the planet are the Cardinals or the Reds. Um, I, I think I mentioned uh, the uh, the phrase "fan friendly" a bit for you. Maybe I haven't already, but but that is really a, a key aspect to Safeco Field's existence. A lot of freedom then to control your experience at the ballpark. The the concourse is cool, but it goes a lot further than that. Look at the outfield now, from the foul pole on the left, all the way up to uh, nearly center field. There's a, a Jimmy John uh, advertisement on the fence out there. That entire region, when you come out and maybe catch a home run in your your Pepsi cup, <laughs> because if you're an eagle eye right now, you can see there's a net stretched out across that. Uh, but In my tastes, I no longer compare major league ballparks. I, I think they're all equally beautiful. Oh, wait, not the one in Oakland. <laughs> 47,000 seats in the building, uh, no reason for the size, just an accident of how much land there was to build on. I like the colors, I like the shapes, I like what you can see beyond it. Next door, of course, is uh, Century Link Field, the home of uh, some football team. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, but that's where the Kingdom was. There are ballparks at the major league level. There are actually six convertible ballparks. We're only one of six. The other five, however, are not like us at all because they do have a true roof on them defined by the fact that the cover for the building intersects the side of the building, whether it's walls, windows. They will come from Alaska. A lot of visitors come to Seattle and think Alaska's right next door. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a three and a half hour plane ride. Yeah. Okay. So we got uh, two more stops to make before we're done. And uh, this one is, uh, is a stop at a level of the ballpark, which is common amongst all modern sports facilities. You've all heard of them. They're called suites. Sweet. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the largest, it's the fanciest. It's the only one that has a bar in it. Only one with the steam tables back there. However, like all of them, three rows of chairs out there that belong to this room. First, though, before the customer. Yeah, exactly right. The owners. No owners, no team. It's as simple as that, and Seattle is very sensitive to that, as I'll explain in just a moment. So this is, in fact, the owner's suite. Uh, the Mariners are currently owned by 16 different people, and they have mostly all been the owners since 1992. And now we're going to go this time to the press level. Now the press, they're the firm to this this big I have no idea because we certainly do not use all of it but boy we're ready for the World Series though I tell you <laughs> room for everybody well remember fan friendly okay fans go to a game what's the best possible scene here to take home with you an actual baseball so in this building then the Mariners have done their utmost to maximize that opportunity there so you start with a short screen behind home plate. That's one thing. Have a net 
that travels from the front of the press box to the top of the backstop. Well, remembering that that net in left field goes away. to 5.30, then the Tigers 5.30 to 6.30, actually 6.15, I don't know why they put that up there, but, but then the National Anthem first pitch. And boy, do they run this thing like a clock. I mean, first pitch, baby, is at 7.10. It ain't at 7.09, it ain't at 7.11, it's at 7.10. Thank you. 